is get here with Windows 10, the technical preview. That's right, just released October 1st, been uh, working with it for a couple days. Didn't install in a virtual machine, okay, because it's still a work in progress. It's an early release for testing purposes, available on MSDN TechNet users, for example, to the public. I've gone ahead and created a quick little partition here in my virtual machine so I can test it out and show you guys a first look on this part one series of Windows 10 threshold. Now here it is installed. You can see here I've changed the background and the theme to green just so you can see it a little bit better. On the bottom here you've got a few new things that we're going to talk about. Of course some of the stuff is familiar from Windows 8 8.1 however the start button is back. Here it is the start menu and fully functional ready to go as you would expect you know a lot of the default programs appear again and of course you've got those metro style tiles you've got the power shutdown restart button there again work in progress remember a lot of stuff is going to be changed and modified still you know managing these tiles and uh, rearranging them is still not a hundred percent I gotta admit however I do like the fact that you can resize change uh, even remove them all should you decide not to even have them displayed there and um, you know it's a, it's a give and take you know some people like the uh, start uh, screen some don't so that's why Microsoft has decided to leave those tiles there allow you to customize remove accordingly to to the ones you don't need set the ones to be a live tile of course if you want to see things uh, you know updated and stuff like that and resizing things so you still have the flexibility to have the best of both worlds of course and uh, like I said should you decide that you don't want any of that take them all out and then just have your regular start uh, menu which by the way you can resize which is great okay and um, and what else well here at the um, at the bottom portion where all those programs are you have the all apps so you can access all of your apps that appear on the start screen in alphabetical order and um, again access them easily from there as well so that's very nice Microsoft has thought about uh, different ways of making things more accessible user friendly and um, you know again trying to please everybody okay the search is very nice it's basically a, an all-out search system wide and on the web so you can see here it found PC WizKid my website very nice should be at the top of the list and um, there's a search here as well which is uh, basically the similar but it's it's giving you a little bit more of the, the social aspect about what's trending on the news and as well as uh, what you've searched previously so it shows you right here if I search for PC WizKid again it shows my website very good and uh, another neat feature is the task view so again on the bottom here task view if you click on that and you have open tasks you can flip between them easily and um, one new feature that I see here also is the snap to corners so when you open up your apps you can actually drag them to the corner instead of snapping only to one side or the other side you can snap it to just the corner and still have the bottom portion of your screen available which is nice going back to that task view you have also the add a desktop that's right virtual desktops are back in force here in Windows because we've seen it in Linux I've shown you it many times in my videos now we're back to seeing it in Windows and it's very nice to be able to move things from one virtual desktop to the other one uh, be able to have different screens basically the poor man's monitor setup they call it and uh, being able to see things and manipulate things in different screens has always been a, a, a multitask time saver so that's very nice that they've added that feature and of course it's a work in progress so I hope to see improvements on that in the future now what else other than the snapping and the uh, virtual desktops um, you know they do have the store icon of course it's there you can remove that um, you can also go into the properties for the um, behavior of the task bar and the start options so if you want to control things and have it go straight to the um, to the desktop it's enabled like that by default of course however you can have it uh, go to the start screen if you're accustomed to that now and you like that you can always enable that the charms bar is uh, gone okay so now the charms uh, you know on, on the right hand side will go away that's what Microsoft is saying so that's great for those who uh, found that annoying and uh, that's pretty much it with respect to my first series look here on what you have the big main thing of course is uh, being able to manipulate your windows uh, more easily being able to access things uh, faster of course uh, multitasking is, is great 
the um, Windows Explorer here or the Explorer uh, options are pretty much the same as you can see here obviously there's going to be some tweaks and enhancements to the um, to the bar there so you can access things the uh, version of um, Internet Explorer that uh, it comes with of course is version 11 okay so here I'll just go quickly down so you can see what I'm talking about alright so Internet Explorer 11 preloaded there and uh, we'll do a separate review on that one and uh, well what else uh, from the uh, menu point of view I guess if you if you were to um, open up let's just say here the uh, PC settings okay and uh, look at uh, the PC settings these options aren't much different from Windows 8 8.1 okay so there's some in, some a few tweaks here and there but uh, the user interface is pretty much the same so if you're accustomed to Windows 8 8.1 you're gonna notice uh, the similarities there on that one okay um, notice here also on the on the top uh, right corner of the window uh, there's these little dots and you can actually go into settings and access quick shortcuts from there as well which is nice okay so here you can access the settings for example for this specific uh, section okay and, and see things that are related and change those quickly so you're not searching all over the place to try to get the stuff which is nice uh, snapping those types of windows though you can see the resizing is, is fixed. I can't resize that to snap and, and move up. So again, a few tweaks, little things that need to be maybe changed, improved for those of you that like to have uh, more control on how things fit in your desktop, move around and, uh, and multitask, of course. But good start, good start for sure. Good start menu for that matter. Definitely uh, like the changes here. Comment below, let me know what you think. And uh, again, stay tuned for part two here on the technical preview of Windows 10 Threshold. Thank you for watching.